Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a what we bring in our Disney bag video. So obviously, you know, this is going to be a lot more, uh, or a lot more things than we would normally carry in our bag. Um, we are going to Disneyland for a few days, so um, some of this stuff is what we will be carrying every day with us, and some of it is just stuff that we want to have um, overall uh, during all the days that we are going to be there. So let me dig in because this is a big bag. Like This is my hand. It's a pretty big bag. I apologize for my horrible nails, but they don't last very long. Um, anyways, let's get started. Okay, I am going to try to do this one-handed so that I can get in close. So this is a Jujube uh, Be Right Back backpack and the print is in purple paisley. Um, this is one of their older uh, bags so this is like a retired style but I really love it. It's got so many compartments. Okay so we'll get started with this front pocket. Um, in this front pocket it's a magnetic closure. I like to keep things that I would need in an emergency right on hand so I have a pack of Kleenex tissues. I have some boogie wipes and I have my first aid kit. So that is everything that is in this front pocket. In this next pocket, this would be considered the mommy pocket. I have my wallet and this is a Petunia Pickle Bottom Wanderlust wallet and in here, you know, I have um, credit card, I have ID, um, and then I also have uh, cash sometimes. I don't know if there's things there that you would just need cash for, but you bring it. And then I also have um, coins because they have these like, you need exactly 51 cents. You need like two quarters and a penny and your kid can put in the two quarters, put in the penny. They crank this machine and it makes like a picture on the penny. So I have those in there. Um, I have my cell phone. And then in this pocket I have my sunglasses. And then I'll also be putting in Ian's sunglasses, but I don't have those in there right now. I have my keys, some deodorant because it is going to get hot. I have this Jujube coin purse which has hair ties in it. I also have a hairbrush slash mirror. And I have some gum and Tic Tacs for me. And I think that's everything that is inside of this mommy pocket. On these side pockets right here, they are insulated bottle pockets. I have a water bottle for Ian. And then on this side, I have a water bottle for me. Okay. And then in this main compartment here, it is just packed to the brim. <laughs> okay, so in here, in this small Planet Wise wet bag, Oh dear, I don't know if I can do this one-handed. I know I cannot. All right, let's see here. Okay. In here I have a um, sport, banana boat sport sunscreen, and then I also have this, um, the copper tone water babies. This one is for Ian. And then the banana boat one is for um, me and Neil. Okay, let's get back into this bag. Okay, um, in this pouch I have, this is a Jujube Quick. And in this pouch I have a wet bag. Um, because they have like these like splash pads in Disney. And so he is going to get wet and if he, it's... I don't know, if he just wants to change or something, um, I can put any wet or, you know, dirty clothes in there. I have some wipes in case he goes potty and needs a cleaner butt than usual. Um, I have a change of clothes, like I said, you know, they have wet stuff there, wet rides, wet all kinds of stuff. An extra change of underwear in case he has an accident. Um, an extra pair of socks in case the socks get wet during rides and things. And then I have, um, like, um, period stuff for me. Okay, next in here I have a pair of Disney pajamas. I have these in here because towards the end of the night we will change him into his pajamas so that, um, after the end of the night they do like firework shows and all that kind of stuff. Um, we can just load him into the car and go back to our hotel 
and uh, we don't have to wake him up if he's already asleep. We can just go ahead and put him straight to bed because he'll already be in his jammies. Uh, we have a sweater for Ian because it does get cold at night. And then we also have a sweater for me because, again, it gets cold at night. So I'll need one too. And I think that is everything in here. Um, I do not have anything in this little part here or this mesh part back there. Okay, and then in this top, there's a top zipper right here. This is also my little mommy pocket. So in here, I have some uh, hand cream. This is my absolute favorite hand cream. It is the Perfectly Posh um, Sassy Uma. It just smells like delicious oranges. I love that hand cream. And then I've also got um, my Posh Smoocheroo. This is a lip balm or chapstick. My favorite chapstick ever. Uh, I also have my Posh Healer Stick. This is for sunburns and bug bites. Definitely want to have this with you uh, if you're going to be outside all day. Um, and then in here, is that everything? Oh no, I also have a nail file. And then in here, I just have Posh samples because sometimes, especially when I put this one on, because it's it literally it smells so delicious. It smells like candied fresh oranges. And every single time I put this on, somebody like wants some or they ask me what that is. Um, or they see my water bottle and they ask me what that is. So I go ahead and give them a sample of Posh. Um, so I have, whoa, I just have a few samples in here. So I have some hand cream samples, like face mask samples. Uh, I don't, what is that, hair stuff. Uh, yeah, just basically. A bunch of samples and then on the back is a little sticker with information on how to contact me if they'd like to order more so that's what I have in the little tiny pouch and these are super light and they don't take up any space um, okay in this little jujube passy pod I have a charger for my cell phone so that's what this USB cord and this is, so all I have to do is find a plug. And then this is an extra battery for my camera because we will be bringing our camera. Um, I have hand sanitizer, and that's all that's there. In this back zipper here, I have two blankets. I have this kind of warmer one just to drape over his legs at the fireworks show at night if he's really cold. And then this is a thinner one to put over his legs in the stroller during the day if the sun is just beating down on him. And we will also be bringing uh, an umbrella as well, like a small umbrella, and it will go back here. And that'll just be for me in case the sun is just impossible and we can't find a shaded area to watch like parades and stuff like that. So I will be bringing an umbrella. Okay, and then the last pocket, I told you this bag has so many pockets. All right, that's not gonna lean back for me, but this pocket down here is where we keep treats. Okay, so these, are special lollipops. They're like rainbow lollipops. Um, and then I've also got, uh, can I pull this out? All right, bag, let it go. It comes out easy, but with one hand, I'm finding this impossible. All right, let me take out this top thing first. This is another bag of lollipops. Now these are not all for him to eat on one day. Like I said, we're gonna be in Disney for a few days, so. And he's even still not going to eat all of these lollipops. But these are for waiting in line because Disney is all about waiting in line. And when you have a four-year-old, that's not always the easiest thing for them to do. So we bring lots of lollipops um, to help standing in line go a bit smoother. And then these are just a special treat to eat during parades or something like that. He always sees kids with rainbow lollipops. And Disney is like highway robbery with the candy. It's like five bucks for one lollipop. So we get a whole bag for a dollar. And then these are another candy distraction for long lines and things like that. They're Smarties and uh, yeah, because Disney's just all about waiting. These treats are also for me and Neil as well, not just for um, Ian. So he will not be eating that much candy, don't worry. Uh, next we have this little bag which is inside here and this is going to be all of Ian's food. Um, 
I try to tell my toddler that Disney has literally like the best food ever, but try telling a four-year-old that <laughs> you're in Disney, take advantage of the delicious food. Uh, nope. A lot of times he will not eat the food that's in Disney because he's just not used to it and he doesn't want it. He wants what he recognizes and knows and um, he just doesn't tend to eat the food as much. So um, I like to bring our own food so I can make sure that he's going to eat. So here I have um, my Super Snack Apple Raisin Soft Granola Bars, I've got some Cheetos, I've got muffins uh, for breakfast, I've got a ton of fruit snacks, uh, more fruit snacks, and then these are fruit and vegetable pouches, so this one's like apricot and sweet potato, um, banana beet and blueberry, another one of those because he loves those, another one of these. And this one is spinach, mango, and pear. Um, so, you know, if he just does not want to eat uh, the Disney food for some reason, um, I have those. So that is everything that we like to take with us when we are going to Disney. And I do like to have a backpack because I know a lot of people leave their bags with their strollers when they go to wait in line. But I don't really feel comfortable with that because there's a bunch of strangers walking around and I like to bring my bag with me. But I don't like to carry it, so backpack. Um, and they have like padded memory foam straps on these things. So yeah, that is everything that we will be bringing um, just during the day. Um, obviously, we'll have suitcases with more clothes and things like that uh, to keep at our hotel. But just during the day when we're there, this is what we will be having with us. And uh, most of the time, it'll be on the stroller, so we won't be holding all this stuff. But uh but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, so I hope this gave you some ideas and tips on maybe some things you'd like to bring to Disney, and I will see you guys later. Bye! One more thing I forgot to mention is a swimsuit. Um, uh, like I mentioned before, Disney has splash pads there, and they have water rides and things like that. And uh, so we like to dress Ian in his bathing suit for um, either most of the day or um, at least just to put it on him when we do all the water rides and splash pads and we like to consolidate those rides and, and uh, activities all in one. And we let him wear his bathing suit so he's got a rash guard uh, sun protector shirt and then his swim trunks and then um, after he's done with the water then we will go ahead and switch him into regular clothes for the rest of the day nice warm dry clothes um, so we will also be packing a small towel um, not like a like a hand towel that you might keep in a guest room we will uh, bring with us that size towel to dry off his hair and just quickly wipe down his arms and legs before switching him into his dry regular clothes so another tip you might want to bring a bathing suit if you go to Disney